It used to take thousands of workers to build a plane. Now we're talking fewer than a thousand to assemble the new 787. Welcome back. We've been talking with King 5 Aviation Specialist Glenn Farley. Glenn, 800 jobs to assemble this plane. So if this model works, one would assume that this is how Boeing envisions the future for the next generation of aircraft. Does that mean that over time, Boeing's footprint in the Puget Sound area gets smaller and smaller? Well, that's the big question here, and, and, and you could already make the argument that Boeing's footprint, quite literally, if you look at all the real estate they've sold off in places like Renton, has, has already shrunk dramatically. But that is the concern of the machinist union, is, is, is if this model is successful and then it is, it is put onto the next generation of 737 or whatever else comes on, that we're going to see a lot of the same thing. And so what do the unions do? Do the unions just sit back and accept the fact that this is progress, this is the way planes are going to be built? I mean, they're, they're, they're smart people. They know what's going on. Yeah, they know this is progress. Their argument is, is after everything they did to try and land this airplane here, create the kind of tax incentives that the state now has, they wanted a bigger piece of it. Okay. Glenn Farley, thank you. Truly an eye-opening report. We appreciate you going around the world for us. Uh, we've seen how Boeing is putting together this plane. What do you think? On the Upfront blog this week, share your opinions on building parts around the world, smart business, or bad policy. Type in king5.com slash upfront, all in lowercase. We'll see you online. Sunday, it's the issues that matter. Right after King 5 Morning News, it's King 5 News up front. We hope you include us in your Sunday morning routine. Again, every Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Thanks for making King 5 News up front part of your weekend. I'm Robert Mack. We'll see you next Sunday.